Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. I trust you are well. Today we continue in our devotionals in John chapter 15 and considering what it means to be in the vine, in Jesus, and how this applies to us personally. And today's devotional is entitled Remain in Me Through Faith. Let's read John 15, 1 to 4. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. Well, every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Today's lesson. Repentance and faith are the way that we are joined to and remain in the vine. Repentance and faith are the way that we are joined to and remain in in the vine. Jesus in this passage is urging us to remain or to abide in him as the source of fruitfulness. So how exactly do we do this? How do we remain in Jesus, abide in Jesus? If you remember during the lockdown period of the COVID pandemic, we were told to remain indoors for our good and for the good of others. And now this type of remaining in was very simple to understand. So how are we to remain in Christ? Today I simply want us to see that the most basic and fundamental way of remaining in the vine in Christ is by putting and keeping our faith in him. So firstly, we are joined to the vine and saved through faith. To become a Christian requires repentance and faith. Repentance and faith are two sides of the same coin. Repentance is negative. It's a change of mind which leads to our turning away from sin and selfishness. Faith is positive. It's turning toward Jesus, trusting in him and his work specifically on the cross for us. To become a Christian is to turn away and to turn toward life in Jesus. Turning away from our old life, turning toward Jesus, accepting him, receiving him as Lord and Saviour, putting him at the centre of our lives. This act of repentance and faith joins us to the vine, to Jesus. Secondly, we remain, though, in Jesus each day through faith. Yes, we are joined to the vine. We're saved through faith in Jesus. However, we are to live each day through faith. To remain in the vine requires that we keep our faith in him and keep repenting, keep putting our faith in him as a lifestyle. This lifestyle is expressed in Paul's words to Timothy in 1 Timothy 6, 11 to 12. But you, man of God, flee all this, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of of many witnesses. This fleeing, pursuing, fighting the good fight of faith, taking hold is another way of expressing that to remain in the vine requires that we keep putting our faith in Jesus. This faith is under attack. The world, the flesh, the devil are seeking to undermine our love and trust in Christ. We are constantly assailed by the offer of false vines. 
temptation to find life and salvation in other things. And we must fight the good fight of faith. Keep repenting and putting our faith in Christ, who is the true vine. So in response, repentance and faith are the way that we are joined to and remain in the vine. Let's be alert and aware of when our hearts are being tempted away from love and faith in Jesus. Let's keep turning from sin, turning toward Jesus, so as to remain joyful and fruitful in the vine. God bless you.